morning everyone. Welcome to our seventh week of our daily devotions. Maraming salamat sa Panginoon. Uh, tayo na naman ay nagkasama sa panibagong uh, linggo. And uh, today's devotional was written by Carlos Aguilar um, from Evangelical Ministries of the Americas of Honduras. And he will be reflecting on 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 16. And the title of our devotional today is um, Peace in Every Circumstance. 2 Thessalonians 3.16 Now may the Lord of peace himself continually grant you peace in every circumstance. The Lord be with you all. And uh, Carlos Aguilar writes, Peace, who can have it? Asked Juanita, holding a crying child who was hungry with nothing to eat. Peace, asked Pedro, who can have it if we live in a corrupt country full of gangs and we are without work? The people in my country look for peace, but too often in the wrong places, thinking that peace means being physically safe and comfortable. The apostles' desire in this text, however, is that we see our Savior as a true source of peace, not our circumstances. Notice that it is a divine peace because it comes from the Lord Himself, a peace that He has purchased on the cross for all who would believe. It is a peace that means that all is well with your soul. It is a peace that means God is happy with you because your sins were forgiven in Christ Jesus. It is a peace that endures, for it is rooted in eternal realities that can never change. As believers, we must daily remember that God has graciously given us His peace, a peace that remains through any and all circumstances. Meditate on this today. Thank the Lord that your sins have been forgiven and that you have peace with God in Christ Jesus. Consider what it would be like if God hasn't had not sent His Son to make peace, but praise God He has. Peace I, live, I leave with you, Jesus said. My peace I give to you, John 14, 27. And I appreciate uh, the devotional today. Um, kasi minsan, we, when we talk about peace, lagi nating in, ina-associate po siya sa absence po ng problema or absence ng, ng um, struggles. Pero the peace that transcends all understanding is the peace that comes only from God. Na kapayapaan na mayroon tayo kahit anong nangyayari sa paligid natin. That, that's the most wonderful peace that one can ever have. Kasi hindi siya nakabatay sa variables. Hindi siya nakabatay sa sa circumstances. Hindi siya nakabatay kung saan tayo naroon ngayon, ano nangyayari sa atin, o anong meron tayo, o wala tayo. And, and I, I appreciate that in, in the devotion today kasi lalo ngayon po, uh, kala ng iba, pag nawala na yung pandemic, then we will have peace. Siguro, to some extent, sabi nila yun yung peace. Pero, kung kahit wala ng pandemic, kahit wala ng coronavirus, pero patuloy tayong um, hindi maayos sa paningin ng Panginoong Jesus, if we would still remain in our default stage na tayo ay kaaway ng Diyos, then we, would, we won't have peace. Yung kapayapaan lang natin na sinasabi ng karamihan kung wala na yung pandemic, it's just the change of our environment or situation. Pero pagkatapos ng lahat ng ito, iba na naman ang uh, uh, variable, ibang variable naman or ibang um, aspect na naman ng buhay natin would cause us or would stir up that quote-unquote peace. Pero yung peace po na mayroon ang, toto, ang, ang believer um, sa Panginoon is a peace that uh, cannot be taken away by any circumstance or, or ano mang pangyayari sa buhay natin kasi ito ay kapayapaang nasa kalooban sa kaibutor natin puso this is an internal peace this is the, the peace that we have in our soul in our in our whole being because we have peace with God di ba in the first place to begin with dahil pinagkasundo tayo pinag-ayos tayo ng Panginoong Jesus sa kanyang ministeryo 
uh, sa ama. And then the the wonderful thing about that as well is that we also have his peace. We have peace with God and we have the peace of God. Kapaya pa ang uh, pinagkakalob sa atin ng Panginoong Diyos knowing the, the, the security, the joy that we have dahil alam natin ano mang mangyari sa atin in the end, uh, pagkatas ng lahat-lahat ng ito we would be with Him. Right? So, I pray that um, kung ikaw ay believer, kung ikaw ay uh, um, mahal ng pagtayahan ni Cristo Jesus, um, have confidence in that. Find joy in that. That you have peace with God and you got peace with God. Right? So, I truly praise the Lord for our devotional. Kung paanong um, siya ang ating kapayapaan at sa kanya laman ng agaling ang ating kapayapaan. Right? And let me read this passage again. Now, may the Lord of peace himself continually grant you peace in every circumstances. Ang Panginoon ng kapayapaan ang patuloy na maggawad sa atin ng kapayapaan sa lahat daw ng pagkakataon. The Lord be with you. And that is my prayer to all of you um, that the Lord may be with you, that you would experience that kind of peace. Pag nakapila sa uh, um, palengge or supermarket ng mahabang panahon, mahabang oras, pag nainitan, dahil sobrang init talaga, and, and hindi nakabatay sa anumang nangyayari from the outside. Because the peace that we have is from within. Right? Sige po. I truly praise the Lord sa um, kanyang biyaya sa atin. Nakaraos na naman po tayo. We are on our seventh week and uh, my prayer is that um, lobby ng Diyos na pagpatuloy pa rin tayo ng devotions even after we go back to our normal or the new normal. And this has been very helpful to my heart and I pray this is also helpful to yours. Pray tayo. Lord, we thank you that um, we have peace. Yung hindi matawarang peace, yung, yung kapayapaan, Lord, na hindi nakabatay sa ever-changing, na pabago-bagong kaparaanan at amin pong um, kalagayan. No, Lord, the peace that we have transcends all that. that the peace that we have is not the absence of struggles and, and, and uh, difficulties in life and pain, but the peace that we have is the presence of God, the presence of a wonderful relationship with you, the presence of being reconciled to God through Jesus Christ our Lord. Panginoon, kailang-kailangan po namin paalahanan sa mga panahon ngayon sa, ng katotohanan yan. Because at, at times, Lord, we, we look at our peace and, and we look at it as if our peace is dependent on what we're in and, and what we have or we don't have or, or what situation we're going through. Salamat sa pagpapaalala niyo po sa amin na ang kapayapaan na mayroon kami ay nakabatay lamang po at nakaangkla sa aking pong relasyon sa inyo. We pray that we would not forget that and we pray Lord that as we go about our day to day In the simplicity, Lord, of what we have discussed, may your peace, Lord, indeed uh, be manifested in our lives. May your peace, Lord, exude um, every uh, um, word, every thought, every action that we would do, think, and say today. And we pray. Na sana po, kayo po na ang patuloy na mag-ingat sa amin and uh, patuloy niyo po kaming Gamitin in spite of ourselves and in spite of the situation and the condition para po sa inyong kapurihan. Lord, we thank you for that peace. We truly praise you for that peace. Maray maray salamat muli for another week and we look forward, Lord, for tomorrow and the rest of the week for us to be um, encouraged again as we reflect on your word. Maray maray salamat muli sa pangalan mo, Jesus. Amen. Again, I hope you'll have a good Monday and keep on looking for opportunities to praise God and to live for Him. Salamat na po. I'll see you all tomorrow. 
Bye. God bless you.